Would you like a stick of gum, sir? No, I don't want a stick of gum. Oh, I hate gum. Gum is awful. This is about pet peeves in case you didn't figure it out. I don't like gum. I don't like chewing gum. I don't like someone sitting next to me. And then, the only thing worse than smacking gum is blowing bubbles. And they blow them little bitty bubbles. Get out of here with that mess. Chewing gum. Rude. I swear, I swear it ain't good for you. I swear it ain't. Can't be good for your jaws. Just wearing out your old jaws. Hey, try this on for size. You want to wear your jaws out, get to talking, buddy. Go find you someone that'll listen to you. They at least have to listen to you. Ain't nobody listening to me, according to my last couple videos and the one or two views. <laughs> yes, I lay in bed at night crying because I don't have no views on my videos. I just went back through and I saw some videos. I got like 78 stinking views on some old videos. Did I scare everybody away? Did I make everybody scared of me? I'm not a big old bad wolf. I'm just a big old teddy bear. Come on, quit being so sensitive. Let's talk about pet peeves. I had to write some of these down. I don't want to miss none. We're just going to keep doing pet peeve videos over and over and over again. Hey, pistachios, we talked about that. Oh, I don't even remember what video we talked about pistachios on. Get out of here with your pistachios. Oh, boy. I just look. Let's, let's, let's go to horns. Let's go to horns, okay? Horns. Car horns, <laughs> honking on your horn. Look, I had to. I pulled this up a second ago, and I read this article about car horns. What they're for? They're for safety. Car, your your horn is on your car for safety. Okay. Uh, if you got to warn another commuter, you know, slow down. You got someone brake, honk your horn. If you're at a stoplight. And you know someone is on their phone texting and that light turns green. Well, do the decent thing. Look, if you honk your horn immediately when that light turns green, all you're going to do is piss them off. If it's me in front of you and I'm on my phone texting and you honk your horn, I will sit there another 30 seconds just to really just get at your goat. To let you know, you don't control me, buddy. If I want to sit at a green light, I'll sit at a green light. You don't honk your damn horn at me. That horn is for safety. Use it for what it's for. Because what's going to happen, you've heard a story about crying wolf. If you're running around honking your horn all dang day, ain't nobody going to just... I hear a hon, 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 hon honking again. But I just get tongue-tied. I just got so tongue-tied. Hong honk, honk, honking. Oof. In case you didn't know, I went to speech therapy when I was a young man. And I still get things all backwards and twisted all the time. Honking your horn. I've got this 30 second rule. If someone's texting on their phone, I'll wait 30 seconds. If I miss that light, I'll miss that light. And guess what? Instead of just pissing that guy off in front of me, they get to drive around the rest of the day. They get to get, go back to the office after lunch and they get to be sitting there thinking... Boy, am I an idiot. I made that guy behind me today miss his uh, his uh, green light because I was sitting there texting. Yeah. People do do that, don't they? I do it. Boy, it drives me crazy when I agitate someone. I sit around stew about it all dang day. Why did I do that? How can I do better next time? Okay. Well, let's stick to driving. Hey, we talked about this yesterday on my Facebook Live. Bill said something about it. You know, someone driving in the right lane or the left lane and they have no intent on turning and they pull up to that red light and then they're sitting at a red light and they're the first one there at the intersection. They could turn right on red, but they don't want to turn right on red. They want to go straight, but I'm sitting behind them and I want to go right on red, but they're in my stinking way. I'll run you off the road, buddy. I'll run you off the road. I will not honk my horn at you, though, sir. Uh, Okay, so, yeah, you know what? You know, drive in the middle lane. If it's three lane, drive in the middle lane. Let people get by you. Get around fast lanes, slow lanes, whatever. I don't have to tell you all this. Hey, I actually read an article that, you know, because <clears throat> I used to have a problem with people uh, going down the highway and you go to exit the highway. I used to have a problem with people if I'm waiting in the right lane to exit the highway and it's backed up for a couple miles. I used to really get mad at people that would zip up there and last minute cut over. But I read an, an article from the Department of Transportation that they said that that actually speeds up the exiting process on the turnpikes and that they would actually prefer that commuters do that. And, <laughs> hey, 
So I had to listen to articles. If I read it, I'm going to believe it. So we do it. We do it. We go, you know, instead of, especially in Plano, if you're driving southbound 75 in Plano and you're trying to exit George Bush, it'll be backed up for two miles at all times. So I'll zip on up there and I'll cut over in front of someone. I'm that guy now. I am. I'm one of those people I used to not really like at all. I do a lot of that. Um, okay, ter- we did, we, here we are. I got my notes. We're noting it because I don't want to miss things. Uh, another pet peeve. Repeating myself. I hate to repeat myself. That's why I make videos so you can watch this video so I don't have to repeat myself. Not watching my videos is a huge pet peeve. Get to it. Like the videos and comment on the videos. Hey, I get people attack me on my videos sometimes. I like it. And even an attack is a comment. It stimulates my brain and it gives me ideas for more videos about how to attack more people. Can't make everybody feel good. And where's my backup? Where is my backup on my attacks? Uh, okay, so this is going to be last but not least. Dude, we're at six minutes. I cannot learn how to make a video that's shorter than like a thousand billion minutes. Um, okay, look. Don't ask me a question you know the answer to. Why? Why would you do it? You know the answer. If you know the answer, you're no longer investigating the situation. If, if, if you're on trial for murder and they have a gun with your fingerprints and a video that shows you doing the murder, well then what's the point of the trial for murder? You have all the evidence you need. What are you going to sit up there and ask a question for? Okay. Here's a little example. I'm at the office doing, <laughs> I can't even do this with a straight face. I'm at the office doing a Facebook Live yesterday. And I go home. And I hear, what took you so long to get home? I was on Facebook Live. You know I was on Facebook Live. Why you ask me what I'm doing? What took me so long? I, what took me so long is I was doing something. It doesn't matter what I was doing. You know the answer to the question. Don't ask it. It's just silly business. You you wasted all that breath. I, I I have breath to waste. We knows this by now, don't we? So let me waste the breath. You save your breath. It's vital because I'm gonna need some of that breath to breathe when I'm out of breath. Probably won't never happen. No, no, not gonna happen. We're going to be back with a lot of pet peeve videos. This is just a little pet peeve video. And I, honestly, I just don't even know if that the production and the quality of this was up to par. We're going to keep at pet peeves because I got them.